The power to tax is the power to destroy. Daniel Webster, the, the popular Webster Dictionary is named after, first made that statement. The Founding Fathers, of course, agreed. Later, Supreme Court Justice John Marshall said there can be no doubt that the power to tax is the power to destroy. And the power to print money and issue credit out of nothing is also the power to take over governments and societies and any corporation or company you want, any resource you want, and it's the power to destroy your competition. And the global parasites are fraudsters. They are criminals. They are Ponzi scheme operators who have become rulers of countries, kings and queens. They've dominated Western civilization and now the globe for more than 200 years. At the helm sits the Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, and others. I study this stuff every waking hour. I wish it wasn't true. I wish it wasn't real. 18 years ago, I remember reading history books, government documents, Council on Foreign Relations reports, hearing the ruling elite of the West talk about a planetary collectivist government, not to empower the people, but to destroy independence and freedom and to dumb the population down. They're so cold-blooded, they think you're so dumb, they openly brag about it in their own public communiques. The hundreds of UN statements and documents, the Club of Rome, Ted Turner, the list goes on and on, Prince Philip talking about how they want to kill you. All these top professors like Dr. Eric Bianca at UT saying he can't wait for the airborne Ebola to be released to kill us. And then his own graduate students, when I criticized him, sent me hateful emails and I tracked their names and found out that many of them are now biologists and geneticists working in the level four bioweapons labs and so arrogant, so secure in their power, they would send me emails saying, Dr. Bianca says 90% need to be killed. He is the minority, he's too liberal. Most of our colleagues believe humans are a parasite and all must be killed. And I know this information and people send me emails. I see them commenting on the YouTube. What are you up at midnight doing? Why are you posting videos at 6 a.m.? I love to sleep as much as the next person. I love to go ride jet skis and fish and paint with my children and visit my grandmother, my last living grandparent. But when you know this information, when you understand this information and you don't warn people and you don't take it serious, I mean, I remember 18 years ago learning this information and then it taking two years to get on Access TV and then a local radio and beginning my trek to try to reach people. And it's an example of what someone who's focused and has information and the truth can do. An example for you to realize the power you have to resist these people. They can't kill an idea. They can't stop us all. Ideas are bulletproof. No army can stop an idea whose time has come. So many people don't believe in themselves. They can't believe that I'm real. They can't believe that there are honorable people. They can't believe that our numbers are growing and that an awakening is happening. But they don't count, folks. Timid souls who don't believe that good has the power to defeat evil don't even then believe that good exists. You know you're good. You know you're a leader. You know in your heart that this is a mission that you have to stand up against corruption and to shine the light of liberty and goodness and love on the evil so these cockroaches will scatter. We've published the Rockefeller Foundation documents on Infowars.com where they talk about adding sterilants to vaccines and cancer viruses and then we see it done. We see the cancer rate doubling the last 10 years, the diabetes rate doubling. We see the death, the scourge, the, the illnesses. We see the UN caught worldwide injecting children with syphilis and polio and never getting in trouble. If you're a new viewer and you don't know about that, just type UN, children die after polio inoculation. It's like, oops, another accident. Year after year, the same accident. Per village, they kill hundreds. They pay the local mercenaries to forcibly inject them. You know, a hundred years ago, when the white man came to give people medicine, the folks would flock to them. 
wanting the medical care. Now, from Asia to Africa, the people run. They run to the hills. They run to the woods. Even poor, uneducated, what some would call savages, know the truth of cause and effect. They even admit that the flu shots that they gave everybody two years ago caused a, quote, tenfold increase in epileptic seizures in children and degenerative brain disorders and death in the UK and the US. They even admit in major Canadian and US studies that it doubles your chances of getting the flu. They know what they're doing. This has been done by design. This has been done by the globalists, the criminals that have stolen the world, the people who from the beginning were ruthless sadists and control freaks and psychopaths with an army of sociopaths working for them that are willing to do whatever it takes to have total power for power's sake and who see the rest of us as, as parasites infesting their world. The parasites see us as the parasites. And they see our naivete as an entree, as an introduction, as uh, acquiescence to what they're doing. For heaven's sakes, please investigate eugenics. Please investigate the phony green movement teaching you to hate yourselves so they can push population reduction on everyone. Please find out what they're doing. Find out how they're financially bankrupting the whole world so we're dependent on government itself that works for the big six mega banks so they can dictate our human activity and behavior. Understand that the end game of these people is total extermination. World government is only the beginning. Just like I say on the back cover of Endgame, they want you dead. The dogs are running around out there in the middle of the night. Here in the house, if you hear him. Please, 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 if you're a new viewer, check out the claims I've made. If you had any instincts or even paid attention to anything, you would see a culture of death is being pushed everywhere. And for those of you that have seen the proof, that have seen the research we've done, that others have done, it's everywhere. The globalists don't hide it. Have a gut check and realize things are accelerating and moving fast. We've got to warn everyone now. We've got to get out to everybody now. Don't say you weren't warned. We can't give the world over to these psychopaths and let them control our destiny. Let them destroy our industrial systems and destroy science for the general public and hoard it all to themselves. We can't do that. Remember, the power to tax is the power to destroy. This quotation comes from the words of Daniel Webster and those of John Marshall in the Supreme Court case. In arguing the case, said an unlimited power to tax involves necessarily a power to destroy, 17 U.S. 327. In his decision, Chief Justice Marshall said that the power of taxing the bank by the states may be exercised so as to destroy it. It, too, is obvious to be defined, or is too obvious to be denied and that the power to tax involves the power to destroy. And you must not deny it. Ladies and gentlemen, the end game of the globalist is to destroy economies. Look what they've done in Europe. Look what they're doing here. It's time to face up. I know it's scary, but denying it doesn't make it go away. It's still there, but you're not meeting it head on. As for me, I am meeting it head on, and I'm making preparations to meet it even stronger on the field of intellectual battle. Spread the spirit of 1776. We will defeat the mindset and the slaves of 1984.